Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today's episode, we are going to be using Forescan again. And what we're going to be doing is adding a second key to the system on my 2011 Ford Escape. The reason that I am doing that is I am adding a remote start to it that actually uses the factory key. You press the lock key three times and it will start the motor that's not installed yet because I need two keys to do that. There are a few instances where you may need two keys. When I say you need two keys, they need to be separate keys, not one that you've gone to some hardware store or whatever and they've duplicated your existing key this video is for the person that needs two keys only has one key when we bought this thing we only got one key with it so I'm screwed as far as adding anything that requires two keys so to do this we need to get into Forescan. we need to delete the existing key and then we're gonna add that key back as well as the new key. I actually purchased this key right here on Amazon. I can't remember how much it was. Pretty sure it was under $20. And you need to have it cut before you start this exercise. First I went to Cal Ranch to see if they could cut it. They couldn't do it because they don't have the right machine. Apparently you need a machine for these that pushes down and does something with the grooves and holds it in place. So I went over to Home Depot and they stuck my existing key in this slot and it just sat there for a second and it uh, learned my key and then it programmed uh, the cutting anyway, not, 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 the, not the programming inside the key, I'm just saying it programmed the pattern to cut this. So I got this key for the cost it was on Amazon, the guy at Home Depot just said uh, you didn't buy anything, so there you go. Merry Christmas. And it is literally the day after Christmas. So let's quickly go over what you need beforehand to do this. Obviously, you need the key that we just went over, and it does need to be cut because we need to turn it forward in the ignition. You need a Forescan extended license. You can't do this with just the basic license. Forescan does offer a trial I don't remember what it is, 90 days, 30 days, something like that. But you can get a trial license from them. And uh, you could also do that with this, with the trial extended license. And also to do this, you have to have one current key that is valid and you can start the car with right now. You're also going to need a USB adapter. There are Bluetooth ones you can probably do too. I prefer USB because you're actually connected to the computer you're using. Um, this one here, in my opinion, is by far the best one you're going to find and buy. This is an auto switching. If you look, there are some around that's got a little switch on the bottom of it. This just does it when it needs to and you don't have to worry about it anymore. There will be a link to this and this key in the description below in case you guys want to do this. and. Forescan.org is where you will download the trial license for Forescan. And that's going to allow us to uh, install this here, uh, having both keys. If you look on the thing, uh, I don't know if it says, oh yeah, you must have two working keys. Oh, let me get you in the picture here. But this is it. You must have two, you must, <laughs> pissed in pants, I can't get it right. You must have two working key fobs. Okay, so that's why we're going through this exercise here. This here will be a totally separate video. Hopefully, I've explained that well enough. Um, if there are questions, hit me up down below and I will do my best to answer. Go ahead and open up Forescan with the key turned forward. 
this is uh, verifying that this is this vehicle that is true go ahead let it read everything it needs to read uh, I did just clear the PCM uh, by accident <laughs> and uh, that's why that's there before you get going we're gonna go ahead and click right here on this gear we're gonna click on the connection button and you need to make sure that you have this set to HSMS switch if you do not it will not see the Pat's programming service function and that is located right here so if we go right here the IC is instrument cluster some vehicles this goes to the PCM uh, this one happens to go to the instrument cluster so whatever module it's in for you just click on Pat's programming here then we got to go down here and we got to click the play button and what this is telling us right now is we're entering the key programming module and that we have to have at least two keys to program uh, if you only have one key uh, stop right here because there's a zero point in you moving along but since we have two keys we're going to click ok right now it is telling us that we have um, keys stored already and how many we do and that is two here so we're going to go to a erase and program keys in this module here then we click ok and then it's going to tell us that we are needing to gain security access um, it really depends on your setup what it's going to require right here sometimes i've seen this uh required 20 minutes this has always been 12 for me we'll see what this says today yeah we got 12 again so towards the end here uh we'll come back and we'll video some more there's no sense in you guys sitting here watching this When we get to this next prompt here, it is very important that you do exactly what it says. Uh, here, this thing should just take off. The progress bar down here should just take off real quick here in a minute. But it's really important that we do exactly what this says or you're starting over. So, okay. This tells us, oh, it is erasing all known keys. So we say yes. All keys have been erased. Okay. Do not click OK right here because we need to uh, move along to the programming procedure. Now we got to turn the ignition off with this key. You have to have your original key in here first. Now we're going to cycle this forward. We're going to count to six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we go back with this. Pull this out. Now this is our new key. We're going to take this feller, put it in, turn this forward. One, two, three four five and six then we're gonna hit okay we're gonna go back now this is the new key we're gonna make sure that this starts now okay we're good and then just for good measure I'm sure this is gonna work just fine but uh, we're going to put the original key back in, make sure that works. Beautiful. You now have two keys that work, and 
we'll go back real quick and uh, as you see right here it says the service procedure was completed successfully let's see all right guys well uh, that's how you can add a key and they're both separate keys this is not going to be a cloned key like you would get from I, I don't know locksmiths probably clone keys whatever that's the cheaper way of doing it is they just clone your existing key and cut it and your car doesn't know the difference but if you need two separate keys uh, programmed to your vehicle this is the best way to do it right here and honestly you can do this for free if you get the trial license and use that real quick before we end this video I'm going to be honest with you, I thought there was something wrong with this remote because after I put the remote start in, these buttons didn't do anything and they still don't. And my brain, as smooth and feeble as it is, thought that I was actually programming these buttons with the passive anti-theft at the same time and that is, I don't believe that is the case. I got on the line there with a friend of mine, uh, Andy, I appreciate your help with this. Uh, he said, are you sure that those buttons don't program separately? And I think he's right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you guys back in this tripod real quick. We're going to see if he is indeed right, and I'm pretty dang sure he is. So all these Ford vehicles are just a smidge different, so I had to get on the line and get the exact procedure for this. Well, let's just say that the AI returned this method to me and we'll see if it's true number one first we're going to just show you this is indeed still good but we're going to remove this and it says to enter the programming mode for this all the doors have got to be closed which they are we got to cycle this eight times in 10 seconds so i'm going to open the door cram this in there we're going to cycle that eight times in 10 seconds and then I got to push a button. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll be damned. Okay, I think we're, I think we're programmed now. So I'm going to shut that and we will So I'm gonna work. One, two, three. I'll be dipped. Press it three times again. And you can see the install of that remote start in the upcoming episode of the 89 Garage. For today, this is just key fobs and Pat's programming. So Again, thank you so much, Andy. You are brilliant. Thank you for jogging the old memory. I'm going to go talk to Amazon because they sent me a new one, and I'm going to go tell them cancel on that. Peace out. Oh, thank you guys for watching. Peace out.